In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created a commercial video for this drink, just like that. Welcome back everyone to my home studio. My name is Mohammed Hamdi and what you just saw was a 20 second commercial video for Brill. This product, actually this is a non-alcoholic natural malt beverage and I am not sponsored by them, I'm not paid by them, but I just love the colors and the branding. And I really wanna show you guys how you can create videos similar like that. So if you're interested, I'm gonna break it down step by step, tips and tricks, so make sure that you watch carefully. So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is the lighting. I'm gonna use as a key light or a main light Godox SL60W with an Octane 90 softbox and using a grid on it. And as a backlight, I'm gonna use Godox FV150 and this is small modifier on it. So basically in this video, I really want to create a dark environment. So I'm gonna use this black sheet in the background to help darken the mood. So the trick here is that you want to make sure that you have your black background far enough away from your object so that you don't get any light spell. Hey, so we've got our key light at a 45 degree angle to pride the front of the can. And also we've got our backlight placed opposite the key light. And the trick here is that I want to create a spotlight come from the back to pride the edge of the can and this area of the table. Now let's take a look to the camera. I'm gonna use Canon M50 with nifty 50 lens and I'm gonna shoot everything in 60 frames per second so it can slow down the footage in post. So before I start shooting, I noticed something. The can doesn't look cold. So there's a small trick in this part that I used. So actually we've got here a bottle of water and also we've got here a small bottle of glycerin and I mix them and basically this is 50% glycerin and 50% water and we're gonna spray on the can like so and this will give the can a cold refreshing look so starting off with the first scene using this bottle what i'm gonna do the first thing i'm gonna hit record then i'm gonna spray on the can like rain coming down so the first shot is good but it's not great I think we missed something. So the first thing I wanna do is add a zoom into the clip to give it a cinematic look. How we can do this? So let me show you how to execute it easily in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's open Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add our clip to the timeline, like so. And we're gonna open effect controls from here, bringing the play hit to the beginning of the clip. And we're gonna set a keyframe on the scale at 100%. Bringing the play hit to the end of the clip. And we're gonna set another keyframe on the scale at 120%. And let's see. And this is before, and this is after. Much, much better as you see. So in the next shot, I'm gonna use this small modifier to spin the can. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this tape to give it extra height. And also I'm gonna use this piece of black acrylic. And basically I'm gonna spin the can in front of the camera like this. Now moving up to the next shot, the first thing I'm gonna change the camera's angle and I'm gonna use the backlight without the modifier. And now I'm gonna explain what is happening here. I brought this glass which is so cool and I printed these logos and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick this logo on the glass. Then I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna pour the liquid inside the glass. Now let's take a close look to the hardest shot in this video. 
What's cool about the backlight is that it has the lighting effect on it and we're gonna use it in this shot. So the first thing I got the camera on the tripod using only two legs and moving the tripod above the can. And simply I'm gonna be bringing the tripod down just like that. And honestly I had to try many times till I get the perfect shot. So finally this is gonna be the final shot in this video. So the first trick is that I'm gonna add some salt to the mold. And it's gonna give a nice phasing effect. And the second trick is that I'm gonna put the camera on these wheels and simply pulling the wheels back. And the last trick is that I'm gonna be spraying with the water above the product while pulling the wheels back. And this is the final result.